Good morning, everybody. My name is Lou Toth. I'm an instructor here at Ivy Tech Community College, and I'm going to give a brief introduction on jogging the FANUC robot using a teach pendant. And we're going to start off first with an overview of the teach pendant, and then I'm going to show you in this first part how to jog in world mode. So first, here is an actual picture of our um, R30IA controller teach pendant. You can see there's a screen up here on the top, an LCD screen, and we have some function keys right here underneath that. Those are soft keys, and depending on what mode, what screen you're in, you'll see some selections right above that, and you'll have to hit the appropriate key underneath those selections. So right now, this touch-up, to enable that function, you would click the F5 key. So that's how you read the um, keypad. Over here are your motion keys. You have your six axes. This is a six axis robot. And over here are the numeric keys. Here are your cursor keys for moving left, right, up, and down. And over here is the shift key, which is blue, to help you remember that all these other keys that have blue on them can be enabled with that shift key. So the ones that are all blue can only be enabled by holding the shift key down first. And over here is the coordinate key. This key right here will go between all the different um, modes, joint, world, and that's how you get to the different coordinate system. And over here it says world on the top. So all you do is scroll and hit the coordinate key till you see the um, coordinate system you want to be in. Okay, I'm going to switch to a more simulated keyboard so you can see that on the screen a little bit better. This is a simulated keypad from the um, software. It looks just like ours except for the off on-off button which is on top of the normal uh, real one. This virtual one has it right here so I can turn it off. And the shift key, if you click it, will be held so you don't have to hold it down like in real life. So before we get to this point where we're ready to jog the robot, you have to clear all the error messages. And we're assuming that you've already powered up the system, you've cleared any faults, and you're ready to go to jog the robot. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure the area is safe, all the safety equipment is in place. You've got safety goggles, safety glasses, whatever, and there's no uh, material in the work area that the robot will be moving in that can cause a hazard or an injury. So look around you before you start moving and jogging the robot. Once you're ready to do that, when you hold the teach pendant, you have two dead man switches on the bottom, and you've got to hold them in the middle position, just one or the other, one on each side, just hold in one or the other, halfway up, and that will clear the dead man switch, and you'll see the line item at the top here tell you of any faults or errors. So if you do accidentally let go of that, you'll see the fault that the dead man switch is enabled. So to clear that, you would hold in the switch and hit the reset key right here to clear any faults. So at this point, we're assuming you've cleared all the faults and you're ready to jog the robot. The reason I want to start out with world mode and that's, again, selected by hitting the chord key. Hit that repeatedly till world shows up in the top. Is because it's real easy to move in world mode. If you hold out your hand as you're standing right behind the robot and imagine the right hand rule, you have your index finger going out as the positive X, you have your middle finger as positive Y, and you have your thumb pointing up as positive X. So here's your X, Y, and Z coordinate system. And if you can remember this right hand rule, that's how you will move in world mode. So a plus will go out the ends of your finger and a minus will come back the other way. So coming towards me will be a minus X. Coming, going to my right would be a minus Y and going down would be a minus Z. So the right hand rule is an easy way to remember that. First I'm going to, once I select my world coordinate system. Then I'm going to check the speed at the top. When you're running the robot, you're going to have that key in the T1 or the teach mode. You're limited at 250 millimeters per second. So that's about uh, 10 inches a second. If you're in production mode, this thing is going to move a lot faster. 
uh, close to eight feet or more per second. That's not a good way to teach the robot. So we're gonna limit our speed and these keys right here, the up arrow will increase the speed and the down arrow will decrease the speed. And so I would recommend when you're first jogging the robot to hit that up arrow to about 25, 30%. And that, every time you hit that, will go up by 5% and your speed again is recorded right here at the top right corner. It defaults to 5%, so hit that uh, up percent button right there until it gets to about 25-30%. Now you're ready to move the robot. So assuming the robot is in a home position, not at one extreme or the other, let's say we want to move it out away from you. That would be what? Right hand rule plus X going away from you. To move you would hold down the shift key with one finger and with your other finger you would press the keys right here for each of the axes. So we said we wanted to move out plus X. While you're holding down the shift key, then you would hit the plus X key. And as you hold that key, the robot will move at the designated speed you set by the percent key. As long as you hold down the X key plus X, the robot will move forward away from you plus X until you release that key. You have to keep that shift key held down the whole time for the robot to move. So once you move out a little bit with the plus X and you're comfortable with that, then you wanna bring it back. So a right hand rule, you would come back at a minus X. And again, you would hold down the shift key and press and hold the minus X key until you bring back the robot towards you. Okay, so that's moving in the X direction. So now suppose you want to move to the left or the Y direction. That would be swinging this way if you were behind the robot. So with the right hand rule, keep the shift key down. You would then hold the plus Y key down. Assuming you're at the same speed and that was comfortable for you, then you should feel comfortable moving the robot to the left in the positive Y direction. And if the movement is too fast, feel free to lower the speed and you can do that while the robot is moving. These are live keys that can be increased or decreased as the robot is moving. So we're gonna move again, plus Y direction, off to my left, hold down the shift key and press and hold the uh, plus Y key until you move to the de desired distance and then release the plus Y key. Now you're gonna wanna come back to where you, where you were and that would be a minus Y. Again, look at the right hand rule. So you'll hold down the shift key again and press the minus Y key, and you will hold that until the robot moves back to where you want it, and then release the minus Y key. So far we've covered X and Y direction. Now we're gonna try the Z direction. Z, if you notice in the right hand rule is up positive, down negative. So assuming the robot isn't at a maximum reach on that axis, we're going to move it up plus Z. Hold down the shift key, and press and hold the plus Z key. Now the robot will be moving up. And after it moves to a desired distance, you can let go of that plus Z key and just reach over while the shift key is still held and press the minus Z key and the robot will can come down. So, so far we talked about jogging in world mode using the right hand rule with X on my index finger, Y on my middle finger and Z axis on my thumb going up and down. So this is the Cartesian coordinate system in world that is followed using those first three axes, X, Y, and Z. Hopefully there's no questions. If there are, we'll cover those in the next segment. Thank you very much.